it's Andrea. I'm back with another uh, cotton cuts for the Puzzle Mystery Quilt 2024 Spring Puzzle Mystery Quilt. Hashtag Team a Jubilee. I'll link cotton cuts down below in the description box. I did finish the top, but then they sent me the extra borders. So we're going to put those on. So we've got a skinny border that's going to go on first and a fat border going to go on last. And this is the same fabric we'll use in our binding. So that's why I'm doing the skinny and then the fat and then I'll have the red binding around it. I think it's going to make it, because it is 72 now, so I think this is going to make it like, like 87 or something like that square. wait until we get to see what the new colorways are going to be for the next puzzle mystery quilt. Short, long. Okay. There are shorter strips and longer strips. It looks like they cut these length of um, fabric instead of width because they're all one long line. Thank you for that cotton cuts. So I don't have to piece the borders. and seeing the previews of the movie that it's going to be quite different. I don't know how different, but I know one thing's different. The whole, in the previews of Wicked, they have that whole scene with the witch's hat, right? And how Glenda tells her to put the witch's hat on and blah, blah. That never happens in the book. They just totally made that up. I can't stand when they do that in the book versions. Why? What's the point? Well, there is a scene in the book when um, Linda has her try on a pretty hat that she has. Like an ornamental, a very pretty, colorful, you know, hat. And Elfie tries it on and then she's like, oh yeah, and then she takes it off. That's it. It's like two lines that doesn't mean anything. I can't wait to finish this one so I can watch the movie and then rage about how it's different. <laughs> how dare thee? That's not what the book said. I'm already on my rampage and I haven't even watched it yet. Here's the 
here's my quilt on the side I'm still working on. I'm making a scrappy crossroads and I use this as leaders and enders. We're going to go to the other side and put the red on over there. Make sure it's the opposite side. There we go. Strings, strings everywhere. This, I love this fabric right here. That is so pretty. Touch of your hand says you'll catch me if that were I fall. You say it best when you say nothing at all. I think it is one of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard, like magically beautiful and completely underrated is Alison Krauss. Ooh, that woman could sing. I have her song, I Am Weary. That's my nighttime alarm song. Oh, brother, we're out there saying, right? She has several songs on that soundtrack. That's phenomenal, by the way. I remember the first time hearing her, I was just like, oh, I was flabbergasted. I have angelic. It's like other world, like a literal gift from God. It's got to be. A little bit short. A little bit too short for a scrap.
Okay, I'm gonna go press these two. BRB. I wanna hear something weird. When I was pressing this, border, I started to smell like air freshener scent, like a perfume or something. Something smelled good. And I'm like, what the crap is that? So I started, did you spray some room spray or something? And she's like, no. So then I sniffed where I had pressed on the red and it was, it was just the fabric. It's, it's cooled off now so it doesn't smell anymore, but I guess and it's something I'm gonna guess it's like Cotton Cuts room freshener or something soaked into the fabric and it came out when I heated it. I mean, it smelled really good. But I'm gonna have to ask them. Y'all have the freshener or something else? Because, yeah, just the heat being applied to it, it smelled kind of like a rosy powder. Curiouser and curiouser. So it's either, it's got to either be from cotton, because I just took it out of the bag. It was in here. Typed up. So it's not my house. It's not for my house. I just took it out of the bag right before I started this. So it's got to either be from cotton cuts or from the original factory. Was cool, the smell was gone. Or maybe it's the, maybe Cotton Cut sprayed something on it before they cut it. Oh, uh, best press or something. <laughs> it's not as good whatever it is. I've never had that happen before though. not a pieced side that's all like a jagged little feel. So, this is not vexing me. This is not vexing me too much. Usually borders vex me, but this one's done pretty easy. Vex me as in um, get on my nerves, not confuse me. I think vex actually means confused. I'm vexed about the minute, meaning I'm vexed. tonight and see where I'm at. I was halfway done last time I counted. Oh, I can't get over how sharp that blade is.
movie with this bracket because if they go by the book, it would be NC-17. <laughs> I'm telling you, the book is not for the faint-hearted. Children's tale. I've been listening to it um, at night on Audible. They had a, f I think I got it for even for free or like two dollars. It was super. Anyway, it was Oz, the complete collection of the Wizard of Oz books. It's like I can't even tell you how many out. Twenty four hours long or forty? I can't even remember. It's very, very, very long, but it's all of the books on Audible, all together. So I've been listening to that at that night. Just to refresh my memory, because I've never read all of them, honestly. I read the first one, but that's it, and there's a whole bunch of them. And you, in the Wicked, you know, they reference characters in the book a lot, or uh, ethnicities different regions of Oz and all that, so I'm getting familiar with all that. All right, let me press these two and we'll put our large borders on. Okay, loving how this is looking. Now we're gonna put this paisley on. Now this is a fabric we didn't have in the kit. It's a new fabric. So start with the shorter ones. There's two shorter ones, same as the red. Put it on the other side.
10, 20, 30, 40. No, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. Just trying to figure out how long this is taking me. It took me about 10 minutes. It took me about 20 minutes to put the red border on, so. is easy to trim with my scissors so I'll, I'll do that with the rotary cutter afterwards. It's a little too long for my scissor snipping action. There's the last of my blocks on the side cut. That rotary cutter is like putting a hot knife through room temp butter. That's how soft it is. Oh, here it is. Oof, I wasn't able to mail out my giveaways today, guys. I, I forgot about it uh, being a holiday. And the post office was closed. And I'm going to do it tomorrow for sure. When Mom and I go to lunch tomorrow, I'm going to take them to the post office. I had to have mom's help because it's five big heavy boxes of giveaway stuff. than my living room floor space.
let me go press these. Okay. I trimmed the excess sides. getting cumbersome now. At least I'm on my last two. At least I'm down to the last two. Some more squares. I need to do tomorrow's video too tonight. I'm putting two so with these up tonight. Which this one was not planned, but it needs to be done. So guess who gets to come with me for this ride? You guys, you guys, you guys want some cookies?
other side. Uh oh. Um, what? Oh, okay. I couldn't find my undone side. There we go. For a second there, I thought I was done. This moment fleeting joy went through me. And then it was quickly smushed. Oh, it's definitely gotten to the annoying state. I could not imagine trying to quilt a full size quilt like this on a domestic machine. I know some people do that. I would rather stick a wet cigarette to my arm than to try to quilt on a domestic. Oh my gosh. I'll do a wall hanging. That's about it. Now, I send them to the quilter, even my wall hangings. <laughs> she so she quilts them up on her domestic. <laughs> she told me. Um, more power to her. And the ones I have quilted myself are horrible. I did a horrible job. Like you can tell I did it, you know what I mean? <laughs> We'll go press it and figure out how we're going to look at it. BRB. <sighs> there it is. I'm in my filthy garage. 
<laughs> Isn't it pretty? Stella, what do you think? Isn't it nice? What's it for? A king size bed? No. It's just good. It's just large and in charge. Who who do you guys think? I love it. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch So With Me. Stella, huh? say, see you at the next one. See ya. <laughs>